Hey guys, it's Monday morning. Take you through a day in the life of an ultra runner. Okay guys, so this is a typical breakfast. I usually have just toast with peanut butter or bagel with peanut butter every single day, and then coffee. We're just gonna get this down and then we'll get ready for the run. All right, so we're heading out now to the run. We're gonna head to Ridge Park in Newport Beach where I did probably 70 to 80 percent of my ultra training um, last year it's a great place there's a lot of really long loops with a ton of vertical gain in the canyons it's a hot one today so it's going to be tough but we got to drive about 30 minutes to get there so let's go basically do like an around the horde of this canyon. Over there is pretty much like Shady Canyon Laguna area. And then you finish pretty much right back where you started. It's like a perfect 17, so let's get it. All right, so we just finished warming up. I got my handheld with me here with a couple gels. I'll usually carry this with me for any run longer than 15 miles, so about to go 17 right now. Um, and I'm gonna carry the GoPro with me on the run. The next shot you'll see is probably some crappier footage on this three years out of date camera. So we just hit four miles into the run. That first little section right there is definitely by far the easiest, so. This is mile five of the run. Very technical, very steep at some parts. Let's go. So, just hit six miles. That mile and a half stretch from about 4.5 to 6. You probably gain around 500 feet or maybe even more, I'm not sure, but it's a tough one, but we got through it. Feeling okay still. It is a hot one, man. Thirteen in, only four to go. I just hit fourteen, so three to go. But unfortunately for me, in this loop, the last three miles are by far the most brutal. So we're going up there. Sixteen in, one more to go. This is what this last mile looks like, all the way up there. Okay, so I just finished the seventeen miler, and that one is rough. I'm not gonna lie, it's hot out. I'm definitely not in as good a shape as I was six, seven months ago before the ultra. But you know what? That's part of the grind of getting back into it. If you like the footage during the run, please give me a thumbs up for that. Taking the GoPro on that run was not fun at all, so. Just gonna chill for a little bit now, eat some banana that I brought, and some raw cashews, some protein recovery, carbs. Go back home, hang out for a little bit, eat some breakfast, and then hopefully if we're feeling good, getting another handful maybe in the afternoon to so get a little shake out in and that'll be my Monday. Uh, for those of you who care about counting your steps and stuff, so far I'm at 23,500 steps. I'm at about 2,800 calories burnt. So I'll be keeping track of that throughout the day. Okay, so back at the house now, gonna get a little core session in. I usually try to do it right after my runs, but 
there was like a lacrosse team on the field doing something, so I didn't want to interrupt their practice or anything. Get some core in right now, then we're gonna get some breakfast in us and then take a little break before we go hit our next run. Okay, core is now done. Time to get some food and recover now. Here's my full meal uh, post run. So I already had some avocado toast, shout out Graham Stefan. And now I have like three over medium eggs and just a smoothie here. This is just banana, almond milk, some fruit and ice. That's all it is. So it's really delicious, tastes amazing. It's one of my favorite treats. So yeah, um, I don't really follow a specific diet per se. I just try to eat for the most part clean, good fats, um, good proteins good amount of carbs to fuel my runs, but that's pretty much it. So uh, we're gonna get this down, then we're just gonna rest for a little bit and then get our second run in for the day. So I finished eating a while ago and just hung out for a little bit, watched a little David Goggins for some inspiration. Feeling kind of sore to be honest, but we're gonna go for just an easy five miles. So just from my house, the beach boardwalk is only about a mile. So we'll get to the beach boardwalk and then just got another one and a half or two and a half total and then another two and a half back. So just five for 22 on the day. I'll bring the GoPro again on this one so you guys can see. I might not film a ton, but might just film a little bit, so. Oh, just about three-fourths of a mile to go on my way back. Feels good just to cruise and let the legs loose. Hey guys, so sorry it's super late now. A lot of hours went by. I just was really busy. I'm in my car now, as you can obviously see. Um, but anyway, for dinner, I just had a salad with avocado, chicken, um, some spinach, cashews. It was super delicious. And uh, we got that other run done, so 22 on the day. Um, and then I actually just had to make a drive down to San Diego. So the reason I did the double 17 and five, usually I would always do like a 10 and five or a 12 and five. I would almost never do a 17 and five, but because I'm going to, um, I'm going to be in San Diego for tonight, tomorrow, and maybe all the way to Wednesday morning, since I'm not sure how the running situation is going to be there. I put in a few extra miles today. That's how it works. You got to plan out for these kind of things. So that's the reason I went 22 today, which is a little farther than I usually like to go. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you know what a day in the life of an ultra runner is like. If you guys enjoyed the video and are still watching, please just give it a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. And uh, I'll link my Strava at the bottom if you want to check out like uh, the splits and everything more specifics about the runs I did today. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.